Hello and welcome to YouTube video of this 1998 National Tropical. Let me say that it's a 1998 and a half. It was manufactured in June of 98. Uh, it's titled in South Carolina as a 90, uh, it's a 98 model Ford. It could be 99, so we're gonna call it 98 and a half. It's an extraordinary condition. I would say it's way above average condition. Windshields are free from any chips or cracks that I can see here. Previous owner, I'm selling for a friend of mine and he got it. It's really, really well taken care of. Look at, take a look at little minor details like that. Wiper blades, the rubber material is in good shape because he covered it up. The sun will uh, hit the motorhome and, and, and it'll, it'll just destroy the rubber. So it's in good, good shape right here. Take a look at all these decals. We'll walk around the whole entire modem and show you. Let's start on this side. Windows are not foggy. Tires, by the way, they're Michelin 2015 or 2014. They're new six tires. I think tag axle a little older, but they are not showing any weather checking. This is a turnkey motorhome. Take a look at this decals everywhere. No dry rotted checking weather or, you know, just cracked up. Really good condition. We've got a cloth awning with a metal wrap, so when you shut it, it's got an aluminum metal wrap on top, so it never gets, gets uh, too much of a weather exposure or sun exposure. Very nice motorhome. Tag axle coach, it'll ride a whole lot better than a non-tag axle. It's like a caterpillar, it's got more legs, it'll grab more of a road. Even the, uh, this Tropical picture is not tethered up. I've seen a lot of older coats, they're just sun damaged, no D-lamp, straight body, really good condition. Michelin tires all the way around. As I say, all our new tires, six, I think a couple of tag axle tires in the back. Uh, they're just a, a little older, but not showing any weather checking. Take a look at it close up. Let's, let's pull in close up here. No weather checking. Please take a look at all my pictures. The slide out topper is a less than a year old because if you see some of the older motorhomes, they start getting tear up from age. So that's a brand new vinyl there. Got a uh, fiberglass roof up top. Take a look at all my pictures. You got a bedroom cloth awning here. Uh, take a look at this wash bay. I mean, you wouldn't want to, but you could almost eat it off of it. It's that clean. Got soap dispenser here. Power cord goes here. And uh, as you can hear in this video, the generator with only 87 or under 90 hours runs excellent. It's a 55. 100 watts, Generac, runs like a champ, and it powers everything up inside, including two roof airs and anything else you got in there. All right, let's come around the back. And you can see from side, straight body, shiny. I mean, you know, it's in really good shape, way above average. We got a spare tire back here. Looks like never been put on the ground. It's a Michelin also. They're all matching tires all the way around. We've got a Reese Type 3 hitch with a four pin connector. It'll tow four or five thousand pounds easily. Even ladder's in good shape. Nothing messed up here. You can climb up on top. Take a look at my pictures. A fiberglass roof, not a rubber roof. Repeat, it's not a rubber roof, it's a fiberglass roof. I will come on a driver's uh, passenger sidewalk. Take a look at it. Straight body. Lots of underbelly storage. Very clean, extremely well taken care of it. I'm not gonna go through all the compartments, but there are lots of goodies that come with it. Got extra belts and hoses. We've got tire covers. Uh, they are located right here. We also have a windshield, front windshield cover right here. We've got a lot of weather, like a sunblock cut out material, the guy did it himself, custom cut. The bottom part of the coach could have been repainted uh, previously. It seems that way, but it's in really good shape. Got more compartment up here. So lots of underbelly storage. And take a look at all the fabric and stuff. Just, you know, no rust spots. No signs of abuse. It's a used motorhome. For 98, we're talking 17, 18 year old motorhome here. And way above average. All right, let's, the, by the way, speaking of the patio awning is also cloth with a metal wrap. 
It's a huge, it looked like a 22 feet uh, big awning here, patio awning. Once again, take a look at all this vinyl way above. I just can't believe how nice this motorhome is. I sell a lot of motorhomes. Once in a while you run into a 1998 older coach that just been extremely well kept. It must have been garage cap or they had a shade for this motorhome that it was not exposed to sun a lot. All right, we're gonna check out interior. So really nice interior. Let's come on in. Usually I take my shoes off in a lot of my motorhomes, but no need to have taken the shoes off. We got a, it's a, one of those stick on wood looking floor. Entire coach, even the bedroom has it. Only place you see carpet is the dog house and the driver and passenger side. Let's start talking about this coach from the front of the coach. We got only 34,000 miles. Chevy 454 big block engine. Uh, air condition is ice cold. Got some drawers here in front of the passenger seat as well. And I don't know if you can tell in the video, no exhaust manifold, it's quiet. I'm revving it up just a barely here. It's quiet engine. Because some of these older 90s engines, they got exhaust manifold leak and all kinds of stuff. 86 hours, dash air is cold, 34,000 miles. We've got a power gear leveling jack system. That's a big plus for older motorhomes. So you got leveling jacks, got a CB radio, uh, electric power mirrors on both sides. Got two fans up on top, backup monitor, so list goes on and on on this motorhome. We are about to put 24 inch LCD digital TV here. So that would be included in the price. We're gonna give one of the TV here. It's gonna be going in here and you could buy one of yours uh, DVD player or Blu-ray player. They're next to nothing nowadays. Ceilings are free from any damage I see. Solid ceiling, solid floor. We got a couch that opens up in a full bed. We have a air pump right here. And that's like a later model motorhomes. They have a diesel pusher, they'll have air mattress, but this thing got an air mattress, really nice sofas, no stains or any tears, very well kept. Booth dinette, it's in good shape. No excessive wear. We've got some drawers under there. So lots of storage. So if you were thinking about full time in it, this 35 feet motorhome could be good candidate. Got lots of cabinet up top. National does a really good job on that woodwork. Over here, we got some more drawers. I mean, more cupboards and more pantry room. Got some counter space here. Come back in the kitchen. We got three burner gas stove, very clean. Traditional stove, stove, very clean. Got a microwave convection oven. So you have a traditional oven. Also, microwave has a convection capacity. Uh, Korean countertops additional counter space, dual ceramic sinks, no, no wore out sinks. I mean, it's in really good shape. Previous owner also put little LED lights here. How about that? A little battery operator, but they'll, they'll work. Some more cupboards on everywhere. All right, we have a center part of the coach. We have a side-by-side -side refrigerator and it works fabulously. No issues whatsoever. It's got an ice maker, Freezer on left and a refrigerator on the right hand side. Works on LP gas or electric power. Lots of drawer underneath. Take a look at it. We've got nice ceramic looking uh, vinyl tiling here. Santa part of the coach. We've got a fantastic fan. Dual zone air conditioning. Your monitoring panel here. Uh, ECM, that's electronic control ma module here. Your management system. You see what amperages are used by what air conditioning. If you look at this, take a look at this minor detail. I mean, Look at here, we got the, it's still an original cover. And then look at this, we got two insulations and it's fantastic fan. I mean, this little minor detail that tells you the previous owner was very particular. All right, we keep coming here. We got some closet here, coat closet and numerous drawers underneath. And we'll come through here and I'll open the bathroom. You would love the bathroom. So we got a nice door. You come in, you got a china toilet, nice countertop with the Korean countertop again. And look at the faucet. I mean, they're nice gold accented. I mean, just beautiful. Some cupboards here, same thing here. Got insulation and I love this part. Look at this. I mean, we've got a sliding door 
a real tub. You could actually take a tub shower. I mean, shower here in a tub. Take a bath. <laughs> That's what I meant. Nice skylight, no water leaks. Just a fantastic motorhome for his age. That's how you lock it up here. All right, we've got a pocket door here that gives you complete privacy back in a bedroom. And you got a little vanity counter space here with a mirror. More room up here. It's got a TV hookup. You could put another LCD TV if you'd like to. Solid walls, east to west bed configuration. I love that. That's what people like. They don't like north to south. They like the east to west. Probably have some storage up under it. Yep, it's a huge water tank. Please take a look at all my uh, description. It could be 110 gallon, 100 gallon. Water pump is located right there. Easy to maintain if you need to winterize it or what not have you. Huge closet back here. It's at least 18 inch deep and it goes all the way there. And opens up on this side too. And these are all little insulation that goes on the windows. He's got them for almost all windows. Some more cabinets here, drawers. Some room up on top. Got a day and night shades. I think just about every one of them are working except one is a little, we just roll it up. So I like to mention everything bad and good. It's not a big deal, but every one of them work. No stains as you can see. Windows are not foggy. I think we're about to conclude this video on this 1998 National Tropical model 6350, approximately 35, 36 feet in length in really good shape. I mean, let, let me just put it this way. This is a turnkey motorhome. Very, very hard to find older motorhome is in this good shape. So when you call me, please do not call me with what the book value is. It's the condition. These older motorhomes right now, anything around $20,000, I cannot keep in my hand. So let me stress the fact, if you're gonna call me with a lowball offer, please save yourself a uh, uh, time. Do not call me, because this is a friend of mine. I got it from some good family, new Michelin tires, new batteries, just, just ready to go motorhome. So it's not one of those sitting around somebody's backyard, rotting away that you can get it for ten or $12,000. If you want to, if you're a handyman, go buy that one. If you're ready to camp, give me a call, 864-404-0054. I prefer text communication because my phone rings all the time. Text me at 864-404-0054. If you must call, call me, leave me a message, I'll get back to you. I have a South Carolina clear title in my hand and I look forward to earning your business. Thank you so much for watching my video and you have a great day.